Okay, we're going to do some more reactions with liquid nitrogen now. So we've got some beautiful liquid nitrogen here. They give me quite a lot. So we've got it at minus 200. So it's a very, very cold liquid. And as it reaches the temperature of the air, as I pour it onto the bench, it's going to turn into the gas pretty quickly. So we're just going to pour some on the bench. And if you see, do it really, really carefully, you can see the liquid coming out. But it's turning into the gas pretty quickly. So we can turn it into the gas, that's one thing we can do with it. Just at the end of the, the tubing there, you might be able to see the liquid nitrogen coming out. So our rubber tubing is pretty flexible. What people often want me to do is put my fingers in there. Take something nice and flexible like a finger, or indeed a rubber tube, you can change its properties quite considerably by putting it into this stuff. So this stuff is going to freeze the water in my cells and, or freeze the, the atoms in the molecules of the rubber and change the properties pretty considerably. So take my rubber tube that's just been in my liquid nitrogen, flexible normal piece of rubber tubing, and it smashes just like glass. We completely change its properties from being a very flexible material into something that just shatters like glass.